Hello out there and welcome to Road to ACP. Hope all of you are doing well. So today we have brought a video about an uh, exploitation of a vulnerability. If you have recently uh, gone through the cyber security news, then you must have heard that there is an WordPress plugin vulnerability that is affecting more than two lakhs active installation uh, throughout the world. Okay, so this particular plugin basically en enables a user or publisher to create a different kind of uh, processes uh, easy, like user sign up, creation of profiles, and etc. There are tons of other features are there. I will request you also install in your private uh, WordPress, uh, you know, or website and see and explore all these uh, features. It is a really a good plugin. So I'm not promoting that content, but I'm just telling you. Now, what happened with this vulnerability? This vulnerability is also contained a critical flaw that basically allows a site visitor to create the member profiles with essentially an administrator level privileges. That means if you just want to create a normal user using, using this uh, plugin, then it will give you a uh, user role of publisher. But since there, there's an existence of vulnerability, that's why you will get a privilege escalation to the administrator level. So it is sounds scary. At the same time, since, since there are a lot of active installations, so there was no currently uh, exploit uh, current exploit which is published by any uh, researcher so far so i thought why not create a uh, exploit for ourselves and in the in that meantime you'll understand that how we can you know dig into the subject and uh, find the exploit of your uh, you know because it's a kind of research kind of thing because you have to understand the code behind it and then only you can find out the uh, active exploit uh, that uh, that can be used to you know uh, uh, further penetrate into the system so since I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, attack on any public website. So what I did, I uh, first I created a uh, you know uh, vulnerability scanner, which I'll publish in my GitHub repo also. Uh, it is an exe format, so it will just give you uh, an indication that whether your installation is uh, vulnerable or not. Uh, but this will only work on the public website, not on the local host. So in my video, you'll see that it is not working on local host. That doesn't mean it's, it doesn't work. It works but it only works on public website. Now, uh, for this, I have created a local WordPress setup and installed this plugin. And this is my local WordPress setup, you can see. And this is a critical security and uh, I've just made some a few random posts. And uh, you can see the uh, plugin and this plugin is giving me tons of features like registration and etc, etc, registration logout. So I'll just show you the first, I'll show you that how this plugin works and what happens when you use this plugin. Uh, to do a variety of stuff so that uh, you know that is being permitted by this plugin so there is a page called register page now uh, you can think that if i have a registration page then i can just definitely sign up and create a user for myself and all these users is ultimately going into the database of wordpress that is installed at the back okay in my case it is installed in php admin okay php my admin so i'm just uh, registering i'm just doing the registration normal registration process and uh, I'll just show you that what is happening at the back end of my uh, database. Okay, so let me go through it and I'm just putting the password and uh, confirming the password the same. And um, so uh, this is the this uh, video. I just want you uh, that uh, you just give your active comments that uh, uh, what is that thing? What are the things that you would like to you have liked it? Now you see that I just created my uh, account and that is a mind blowing and now you can create the post and uh, you know uh, features you can update uh, you can update your profile with pictures and everything. So let us go go back to the WordPress dashboard that is being controlled by the administrator uh, right now. So I'll be going into the WordPress dashboard and uh, I'll show you uh, okay this is my okay this is the WordPress W so let me get into you know there are tons of uh, things are installed in my system i always create something or other lab so your top one is also giving a clue out of this that yes there are a lot of things so this is my wordpress uh, login page login page and dashboard page and i'm just using the default admin and password and uh, i'll show you the users uh, user route yes uh, so and see you can see the user that i have created right now and this is coming at the top and you can also see the role that has been given to this user is subscriber. Okay, that means this user cannot do anything that can that is possible by an admin. So now vulnerability is all about that only that a user can use this vulnerability to escalate their privileges 
from a subscriber role or from a publisher role to the administrator level okay so when you will get the administrator level that means at that point of time you will be getting this kind of features which are normally available by the uh, wordpress admin now i'll show you that whether this particular user is allowed currently for admin level uh, operations or not so i'm just using the uh, username and password that i created right now and uh, in some time only you will be coming to know that okay so it is not ge getting me uh, you know redirected to the wordpress dashboard so that is completely okay i understand but friends at the same time because uh, it is all about the exploitation that doesn't mean that we'll uh, you know uh, exploit the people uh, or webmaster at large who are unpatched currently so i'll be sh i'll be definitely demonstrating you the exploitation part i'll not but i'll not share the code right now until unless it is released in wild and it is uh, it is completely patched uh, so uh, please bear with me and uh, don't uh, um, and uh, um, please forgive me for that also but uh, yeah, i'll just show you that uh, yes uh, this money any anyone can anyone can uh, do this exploitations easily and uh, it is it is very much doable so you just have to invest some of your time and you can do it okay but uh, specifically i'm not going to tell you so i'll just blur those, those portions of videos or maybe uh, pause and then re-record it but uh, just just forgive me for that okay i'm just doing it because i'm i'm totally an ethical i just believe in ethical means of uh, pen testing a website until unless i get an authorization i don't pen test a website so uh, i'll request you to follow the same because if you don't then you might might land up someday not today in legal you know different kind of legal legal issues and which is uh, again will not be good for you okay in terms of your career and in terms in terms of your day-to-day uh, -day affairs so uh, i've shown you i've pretty pretty much shown you that uh, the things are working as per uh, no mandate and uh, let's uh, try to see so okay so i'm just uh, it's a actually it's all about creating the secret admin so my entire idea is to create a secret admin and how to create the secret admin so in the meantime that uh, the thing that i was telling about that i created a wordpress scanner and this is my scanner uh, the which i'll show that how this scanner will help you to scan and um, keep you aware that whether your website having this kind of plugin is vulnerable or not okay so this is again an exe file it's not an um, it's a compiled file so i'll i may release in my github repo uh, you may download it it's a it doesn't contain any kind of virus you may scan it through any uh, you know, virus uh, antivirus engines such engines are there uh, you can use virus total for that uh, so it is completely uh, it is completely harmless but as i told you this is not meant to work for local website uh, local uh, host websites so uh, it may it may find out uh, the wordpress kind of installation but it's not going to exploit it so uh, can't be exploited with this that's why you're seeing this massive that doesn't mean that it is not working for the public website it will work for the public website um, but since i'm not authorized to use any public website that's why i'm not uh, demonstrating in my video uh, you may understand that why i'm skipping that part and uh, because there are lots of uh, copyrights, uh, lots of issues there in YouTube also that you cannot demonstrate an active hacking, uh, which hampers uh, the you know uh, infrastructure of some someone others. So that that's why I'm avoiding it. But that doesn't mean, as I told you, that doesn't mean that you cannot do it. You may uh, you may watch these videos in 1.25x also if you are finding it a bit slow. Because I'm I always uh, and I'm always intending to bring the bigness up to the level of an intermediate uh, so that's why uh, my videos are a bit slow uh, and at the same time it's uh, entails uh, sorry it uh, details all the things that i'm doing and uh, so let me go back and uh, show you the registration part one more time and this time we'll be trying to show that how uh, we can um, you know how one can use this uh, vulnerability to create an administrative account so you can i'm just i'll be okay so let's uh, create one more uh, the username is hit me hit me and uh, you must 
at the end of this video as a bonus content I, i'll show you one of the interception of my bob suit so uh, and uh, that will be a bonus content for you but again uh, the actual exploration part will be hidden but that doesn't mean that will de definitely give you a lots of hint if you are uh, smart enough and i know my viewers and my subscribers are smart so they will definitely make it out and uh, uh, try to um, emulate the things at, it, at their end and see this is the uh, request that we have intercepted and now i'm just sending into my repeater for ex uh, exploitation part and uh, let's try to you know manipulate some of the uh, things uh, we may also uh, create and if you see uh, okay so hit me and this is again the okay so this is uh, again a subscriber i was uh, okay i was not uh, doing that so i will let me re-register it i think uh, we did some we have certain certain hiccups here so let me okay so hit me again and uh, this time this time i think that we will be surely able to create uh, the one the admin level of uh, privileges in the account and uh, hope that will excite you as it excited me that day when uh, the, on July 1st, I read about this news and I, I immediately just I thought that why not create an export for myself and uh, try to see that whether it's working or not, uh, actually it is working or not. And I, I was so excited that yes, it worked and uh, it definitely, uh, you know, use some critical hours of mine, but yeah, it was fruitful. So I understood a lot of process. I'll not say that I understood uh, the process immediately. I have to run through lots of codes and Google searches because that is that's what basically in hacker do. Uh, they don't ask for help immediately. They actually search and search and uh, you know try to find the answers. And now you can see that I oh, with this uh, with this account I am getting the privilege level uh, escalation and uh, privilege escalation and I'm just having the administrator role. And now I'll just uh, go back to my uh, and I'll try to show that whether this hit me again username has all the uh, privileges of an administrator or not. Okay, so that's that's what the thing is about. Uh, there are lots of administrators that I have created, and this was all in my part of you know exploiting this uh, vulnerability. So, so let uh, let me go. Okay, and drop this request. Now, now I'll go in the uh, WP login PHP and uh, I'll show you that whether hit me again and entering the user password and okay, I think I used the wrong password here. So. And I think it's working. And yes, we can already see the dashboard page and boom, we got the dashboard. So this is the way, this is the way uh, you can exploit any, uh, this is the way that you can, exploiting certain things needs two things, your persistence, you should be very much, you know, dedicated to uh, generate an exploit of yours and it should have a uh, under knowledge of code reading if you can do all these things you can really find out an exploit and now but at the same time it is a time taking process you cannot expect that you will just uh, you'll have the exploit immediately in your hand at your hand so uh, you have to bear with the process okay now uh, in just um, i hope that you have understood the uh, crux of this vulnerabilities and at the same time i showed you that even if there is no exploit out there you can create your own exploit by uh, required by, by investing a dedicated time uh, to it and uh, at the same time what I'm saying I'll be uh, as a bonus content as I've told you uh, that I'll be showing the exploitation part and I'll show the snapshot uh, snapshot of uh, uh, my Bob shoot okay so this is the bonus content so take it as a bonus one okay don't expect too much so this is the exploitation Again, I'm just creating one more time, one more user, and this time I'll be uh, keeping my Bob open and try to cover it. Um, 
I need to understand some of the basic video uh, editing skills which I'm learning right now because uh, uh, you know creating a content and uh, of obscuring a lot of uh, sensitive uh, things uh, also requires a skill so I'm learning all these things and in my from my future video you'll understand that I don't have to do all this kind of basic stuff so okay so if you see now uh, i'll be just showing you the response of my burp and you can see the response in case of active exploitation you will find this kind of response 302 okay and if i just go back to uh, the user section of uh, the page and then you can see that uh, you get your admin level user so thank you friends uh, thank you uh, for giving your love to my channel and i bring up this kind of interesting video in future also please subscribe and do share to your friends thank you have a great day thank you